consent. I got one too, but I'm going to let you go first. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate that. Um, unanimous consent for 100, please, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, since it has been suggested erroneously that uh, the Secretary failed to consult with uh, Alaska Natives, I seek uh, unanimous consent to enter into the record a document outlining DOI's extensive engagement and consultation with North Slope local governments, Alaska Native corporations, and tribal entities regarding the NPRA rule. Without objection. Thank you. I also have a, a unanimous consent request. This is an article from the New York Post titled, City Hall Vows to Probe Lawlessness Following Post Report on Spiking Crime Around Floyd Bennett Field Migrant Shelter. It says, according to NYPD data, theft, robbery, and uh, petty larceny are all increased in the 63rd Precinct, which includes the former federal airfield between November 27th and January 7th, the first several weeks of migrants being housed at the massive tent city. Uh, without objection, so ordered. The chair now recognizes the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Ocasio Ms. Ocasio Cortez, for five minutes. You're thank recognized. you much. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, New York Post and Congressional Record. Can't believe it. Um, <laughs> I uh, I I want to return a little bit um, to to one of the question lines that we saw earlier, uh, Madam Secretary, and um, I want to clarify a few things. You are the Secretary of the Interior, correct? You are not the Secretary of Homeland Security, correct? The jurisdiction for border enforcement largely falls under uh, the Secretary of Homeland's uh, department. Is that correct? That is my understanding. And um, I think it is uh, profoundly unfair of a line of attack to come in uh, for explicitly targeting a secretary whose jurisdiction is legally bound uh, for not being nominated to a different department. Um, and I, I, I think it's, it's profoundly uh, important that we have clarity here on the jurisdiction uh, of the interior. I also find it uh, very odd that there seems to be this push for you to be coordinating with the secretary, with Secretary Mayorkas, when the Republican majority has voted to impeach Secretary Mayorkas on no evidence, with no allegation of a specific crime, and yet if their allegation is that this is a, a reckless individual, they also seem to be um, alleging here that you should somehow be responsible for working with that. So that to me also I, th I find to make no sense and also cuts to the core of what this whole immigration thing is about here, which is uh, unfortunately not a solution but politics. And it's about not making sure that we solve this issue, not providing a path to citizenship, not ensuring that we are, are providing resources to judges to adjudicate these cases, but to continue to restrict the resources and policies necessary so that there continues to be a problem, so that it can continue to run a news cycle. We are better than this. Secretary Holland, I'm gonna say it because I think it's important too. You are the first native cabinet secretary in the history of the United States, is that correct? Yes, Congresswoman let alone the first indigenous woman to ever serve as a cabinet secretary in the history of the United States from either party. Is that correct? Yes, yes, Congresswoman. I find the notion or the suggestion, and it's not just because of your identity, it is because of your record, your record, the insinuation that you do not care for or the insinuation that you are not extraordinarily attentive to tribal issues to be deeply offensive. It is deeply, deeply offensive. And you are not in a position to speak up for yourself because you are an eminent professional and I'm going to say it. I'm gonna say it because this woman has served on this dais too. And I had a front row seat to how she advocated for Native communities here in the United States Congress too. And the insinuation that that is somehow not central to her mission here is just completely unsubstantiated. And that's a line that we should not cross. It's just not. 
Tribal consultation is very important, and it is fraught. Different tribes have different standards for consultation. Is that correct, uh, Secretary Holland? Um, yeah, yes, Congresswoman, no, and no tribes. No tribe is a monolith. Tribes are not, they're in different areas of the country. They're all going to have different experiences and advocate for different things. And so it is extraordinarily challenging when we have such a great diversity of our tribal communities in this country to meet all these different standard, standards of consultation. But the Department of Interior has taken historic measures to meet everyone where they are at. Is that correct? Is, it, is that a fair assessment to make? Congresswoman, when we first got into office, I'll just point out that we had a consultation on tribal consultations. We got tribes together to ask them, what's the best way for us to meet you where you are? And so um, we take that information and it helps us, you know, guide us through how we do consultations for various issues. Um, through the various bureaus and offices, but also in general uh, for Indian country. Thank you very much, Secretary Holland. And you know, while, while I am sure that there are places where we always can improve, and there are places where, where we can always make sure that we meet people better, I want us to be very mindful about the individual that we are speaking to here, and to make sure that we're doing that with respect. And with that, I yield back. The gentlelady yields back. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from Wisconsin, the chair of the subcommittee on public lands, Mr. Tiffany 